In this lesson, I want to show you how to set your newsletters on autopilot. So you go to newsletter, auto newsletter. Now this is great because if you know you don't want to keep writing a newsletter every you know every time just to send it, you can create multiple newsletters and then just put an autopilot. So you click on new and then notice that the tabs at the very top here, they're still the same as when you're creating a newsletter because you're using similar features here. So you want to put in your subject, autopilot newsletter, and then you want to make sure that it's uh, set to publish. And then you can set here, when is the next generate date? When do you want this to be generated next? Uh, and then also you can set the frequency here as soon as possible. Do you want it to be on the, when you click on that, it shows you on the first of, you know, every Monday on the first, the first Monday, the th second, third of the last Monday of whatever month you set the month here. And then, or you can choose every, you know, zero hour. So every, you know, every hour, every day, week and months. So this is another great thing is that you can be able to pick and choose when you want to send your newsletter. So you don't have to wait, you know, every single time just to write one and send it. And then you can also generate mode. Do you want to send a general news, the generated newsletter, or do you want to wait for the confirmation before sending it? You know, do you want the person to confirm their subscription first, or do you just want to send it? So the same way that you used to create an email, uh, the newsletter, you just, you know, type your stuff in here and then you use, you can use a template, choose one of these, or you can, you know, you can use a tag. This is different tags that you can use and you can save and close save. And then to the right section here, you know, once again, do you want this newsletter to be sent out just for the people that are subscribed to the newsletter list, the new list or whatever list that you've created? So you can create uh, set in an autopilot to send it out to, you know, to multiple news uh, newsletter lists. And then if you have an attachment, the sender information, you know, I just want to emphasize again, you have to make sure that you put in the sender's information and be consistent with whatever you put in. You don't want to put in one thing one day, one thing another. So if you're creating uh, this autopilot newsletter, you can put in a consistent name for it. If you create another autopilot and you want to create a name for that one, but whatever name that you choose, just be consistent. If you want to use your website name for everything, use your website name. If you want to use your name, use your name so that people can remember that. And then of course you put in there from uh, reply to, and then the metadata stuff there. So what's going to happen is based on the settings that you have here, the system is going to automatically, you know, process that for you. So whatever settings you have, you make sure you can always come back to edit it, but the system is always going to process, you know, whatever you tell it to do here.